So guys, Microsoft rolling out Windows 11 2 3 S2 update inside the beta channel. So just go to Windows update and check for update. So you will get here this kind of update. So just download or install it. And let's see what new features are coming in this update. First thing they are introducing modernized file explorer with new home page and address bar and search bar. So this is a new modernized file explorer. So here you will see on address bar which is rounded looks little good. Search bar UI is also changed. On home page you will see here this kind of UI quick access favorite current the recommended section is not implemented here but in future updates you are going to get here so it will look like this and they are also introducing detail panels just select any file and go to here details and now you will see here all details related to your file now windows 11 file explorer is much better from earlier another thing is also related to like sharing files so just right click on it and click on share you will get here new ui for this share so as you can see you will get here complete name of files and what size of this file you can also search for people or email so you can directly send your file here now I am getting here outlook account so just click on it and after that you can just mail it so you can type here the message and send it so this is how it works Another update is new volume mixture so just go on volume icon and click on this section and now you get here quick settings for volume mixture okay so just click on it and you can manage your devices from here. You can just reset volume for all apps by just clicking on it. So this is a great improvement. They are introducing new spotlight images. In personalization just go on background and select here spotlight. Now you can see new images here and right click on it and you can change from here okay. Another new update is like dynamic lighting so just go on this uh, personalizations and uh, go into dynamic lighting now if your device is supporting this uh, dynamic RGB lighting so you can control all things from here for your device so they are introducing this new feature here so you can increase or decrease the brightness you can also set effect like uh, solid color or breathing rainbow wave okay so if you want to set solid color you can navigate to this and you will get all these colors here and set it accordingly if your device is supported the settings will start working for you another new feature they are introducing like a pass key so pass key settings here so if your website or apps which is supporting pass key so you can go passwordless you can just log in without any password first thing you need to save your key in your system in future all things are going to be passwordless okay another new improvement related to your new desktop just press control window and the left right arrow you can see the message here like desktop 1 or desktop 2 and little animation earlier you are not able to see like which desktop you switched now you will be able to know on which desktop you switched another new update related to your password like whenever you're copy pasting password on any website so you will get here this kind of security warning so you will be safe from phishing right your password will not be hacked or anything so they are going to give you warning new thing related to your narrator natural voices so they are introducing new natural voices Chinese Spanish Japanese and English United States Kingdom if you are using narrator you can just go and install these voices so there is an improvement related to notification like you are streaming on YouTube or anywhere camera detected any kind of problem so they are going to give you a notification like your camera is not working so you can troubleshoot and get help from here okay so these kind of notification you are going to get they are introducing new 3d emojis with gradient now these kind of emojis are here which looks colorful another thing is never combine taskbar so just go to taskbar behavior currently this feature is not working as they also mentioned in their blogs in next update it is going to work so you will see all the labels whatever you open on your taskbar so if you want that feature so just wait for it but currently you can see I'm turning it on it is not working another improvement related to voice access is now available on your lock screen so okay guys these are the new features or improvement in this build so let me know your thoughts in comments about this update